Hi, this is Dr. Krause, and I'm going to put out a series of uh, short videos to supplement my Dynamic Systems and Controls class. Um, these are going to serve two purposes. One, I feel like there's some questions that are coming up that were covered in lecture, and um, maybe we just covered them too quickly or something, but it seems like we need some kind of review resources available. And then some of them I'm going to try to ask you to watch before lecture so we can do what's kind of called a flipped class where you'll watch the lecture ahead of time and since you already have heard the lecture, we'll have more time to do examples in class. So the first thing I want to talk about is how to derive the transfer function of a mass spring damper system. So you've seen this picture many times before. When we say transfer function, we mean Laplace transform of the output divided by Laplace transform of the input. So in this case, X of S is understood to be the Laplace transform of little x of T. So we capitalize and we switch from T. So this is a variable that depends on time. The input force may depend on time. And then um, F of S is also the Laplace transform of little f of t. So our first move is going to always be with this kind of mechanical system to draw a free body diagram. We've got input force f going in a positive direction. We've got a spring force that is kx based on Hooke's law. And we've got a damper force that is bx dot going to the left. We've defined this to be the direction of positive x. And so if we say the sum of the forces is equal to mass times acceleration, uh, we mean mx double dot is equal to f minus kx minus bx dot. And now we're going to add those across and so we get to the hopefully familiar form. that mx double dot plus bx plus bx dot plus kx is equal to that. And I now need to Laplace transform both sides of that. And when we Laplace transform, because we're trying to find a transfer function, we assume zero initial conditions. So x of zero is equal to zero, x dot of zero is equal to zero. So when we do that, it turns out that the Laplace transform of x double dot is just going to be s squared times x because there's, there's some things we should subtract off, but those are times the initial conditions. And so we end up with m s squared x of s plus b s x of s. Ah, sorry. Plus kx is equal to capital F of s and there's an of s here. So I can collect my x terms and I get ms squared plus bs plus k times x of s is equal to f of s. And because I'm trying to find a transfer function I'm going to divide this term across to the other side and I get that g of s equals x of s divided by f of s, which is equal to 1 over ms squared plus bs plus k. So hopefully by the end of the course, you'll be very, very familiar with this particular form, although we're going to massage this into a different form anyways by dividing through by m, um, which I'll cover in just a minute in the next video. But hopefully, free body diagram, differential equation of motion, Laplace transform, where each derivative is replaced by a power of s. So we have an s here and an s squared here. And then getting into a transfer function form. And then once we have the transfer function, we can multiply by the Laplace transform of any f of s input to find any x of s output. And so we'll do that for impulses, steps, fixed sign, that kind of thing.